So I just want to start by welcoming, welcoming all you new people that are uh, just now starting to get into Icarus modding and playing with mods. Uh, I just figured I'd throw together a real quick video on just some of the basic stuff to help you get started. So we're going to start off by going into the Discord that we have. If you open up the Discord, you'll see I'm in the main channel, general channel right here. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking where, where to get the mods and download them and stuff like that. If you scroll up, you will see on the left hand side here, <clears throat> you have mod updates. If you click on that, you will see a list of all the weekly mod updates. This is where you'll be clicking the links to go to the GitHub sites for all the different modders. Like if you click on mine, for instance, it'll bring you to the GitHub and you'll see these are all my mods. Uh, the readme at the bottom for updates. And if you look on the right, you'll see the days, how many days ago it was uploaded. So if you were to come on here and download say this cabinets pack and you notice that it was uploaded like two weeks ago there's a good chance that it's not up to date and that it's probably going to cause problems some of my mods are u asset mods which don't go out of date like the backpack and compound bow camo they're basically texture mods so some of those you'll see on here that are quite old but they still work fine but for the most part, you're going to want to download one that's within the last week because Icarus does have weekly updates. So that's a little bit about how to get the mods. And you'll see here on the left hand side, that's under mod updates. And then Icarus announcements, that's basically just like the weekly updates information on that. Uh, down below mod updates is the mod manager, which is the program I developed for the mods. We'll get into that a little bit later here, but this is where the latest updates for that is and YouTube video on how to use that. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see the useful tools links. If you open that, it'll tell you where to get different tools if you want to start getting into modding Icarus. Uh, this is very important for that. I mean, you, you pretty much can't do anything without these tools. As far as modding, you'll need the Unreal Pack program that will actually unpack the data files that are in the pack format and allow you to edit them and then repack them and put them back in the game's mods folder. Uh, this is F model here. This allows you to view and export game models and textures. And then down here, if you want to edit the uasset files you'll need the uasset gui program here that allows you to change values and stuff like that in the uasset files but most of the mods you'll see uh, posted are just json mods which are just text files so you scroll down below the text channels you have your basic mod requests bug reports for mods if there's people having problems with Mods, you'll see you go on here and a lot of this stuff gets answered usually <clears throat> immediately, if not within a, a few hours or so. So that's the basic Discord that you probably came to and that's what sent you to this video here. Um, but that's basically where you'll get the mods and download them. So I want to go over a little bit about how the mods work. So if you open up your Steam folder, which is in the programs x86 program files, if you go to Steam, scroll down to Steam apps, open that, common, and then you'll see your games. You want to click on Icarus, and then Icarus again, and then this is your basic game file right here in your contents folder. So in your contents folder, 
you'll have your data folder, which is your data pack. This file contains all your JSON files, which are like all the basic uh, crafting recipes, stuff like that. You'll need to extract those out of there and then you can edit those and then you have to repack them and put it back in there. Uh, the only other things besides that that you'll mess with is this packs folder. Now the packs folder is where you'll put your mods. So inside the packs folder, you'll create a folder called mods. And inside that, you put your mods that you download. Uh, something that's very important to understand is that if you put more than one mod in here, they have to be compatible. How it works is every one of these mods contains files. And if any one of those files is in both of these, the game will only load one version of that file. It will not load both versions. So, and there's no way to dictate which one is picked. So if you just start downloading a bunch of mods and putting them all in this folder here, you're going to have a lot of problems with mods not working. Uh, things that you expect would be changed aren't going to change because it can only read one of each of the files out of each one of these pack files. So that's, that's why I developed the mod manager that will allow you to actually merge these. So if you go back in the packs folder, you'll see all these other pack files that are in here. So these are all the game files, like the blueprints and stuff like that. The U asset files are all stored into these pack files. You can unpack these also and you'll edit them. And these will be like uh, game textures, excuse me, game textures, uh, models, any of that would all be stored in these files. Uh, the majority of all your mods that you're going to be downloading, with the exception of a few of us that have gotten into doing 3D model mods and stuff like that, uh, will be JSON mods, which would all be from this data folder here in the pack file. So let me open that up and I'll show you exactly what that looks like inside there. So once you open that up, after you unpack it, you'll have a list of all these folders in here. So if you go to crafting, which is one of the most common mods, is when they go into the crafting. And then you're going to go through the recipes on here. If you scroll down, you can kind of see like each item, wood spear, it's crafted on the character. Uh, these are the inputs, how much it costs, 12 fiber, 18 sticks, and it outputs a wood spear, basically like that. So you can go through here. And that's what a lot of people do is they go through here and adjust it to their likings so they can just enjoy the game a little bit more without all the grind. And that's just an example there. There's plenty other files and different changes that you can make. Uh, everything from the firearms, you can change the reload times, damage done, all that stuff can be changed in these. But like I said, if, if you change one of these or the process seen the recipes and then you release that mod and somebody else changes that same file, those two files cannot be loaded into the game at the exact same time. You'll need something to merge those, which would be the mod manager that I created. So that's just a little bit of background about getting set up and understanding the whole concept of adding mods to the Icarus. So you'll put the open the packs file, create a mod folder, mods, open it up, and that's where you'll put your pack files that you download. If if you're only going to use one mod or you know for sure that they're compatible because somebody told you, or if there's a merged mod, like this is a merged mod, which is a whole bunch of mods, all merged into one mod to put into the game. And that's the only way you can get around doing a whole bunch of mods all at the same time and guaranteeing everything's compatible. So that's just a little bit about getting, getting you started and downloading the mods, how to set it up, where to put them, and basically the limits of what can be done with 
without the mod manager as far as installing mods. So once you start enjoying mods, eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to want to start to merge multiple mods to get, because some of the new releases that come out, a lot of times the mod guys release them individually. So you'll have one little mod that you want to add to the mod you like playing with. So you're going to need something, and that's why I developed the mod manager. Uh, there is another video I created that goes into depth on installing it and stuff like that. If you're interested in that, make sure you watch that video. But I'll just give you a little bit of brief overview of it. Slide it over here. Uh, this is version 1.1 at the time of this recording. It's not out yet. Uh, it has some updates to how the files are packed and stuff like that. But this is the gist of it is that you'll unpack, extract mod from pack file, those pack files that you downloaded from the GitHub. And it will basically extract the changes only storm on the left hand side here. And as you can see, you can click through down here. And a lot of my mods, I did images. Uh, anybody that makes mods, puts in a pack file, can add images to their mods too. So you can kind of see, you know, when you're scrolling through here, what all it entails. Uh, these are just some of the mods I've done. But there's a, already a video out on how to use this. You basically just double click whatever mods you want to add to there and then you just click this button here and it will go ahead and install come it'll merge all these together and install them in the folder there and call it IMM merged mod but uh hopefully that gets you guys started and answers a lot of questions you guys have uh, if you have any more questions uh, feel free to just go on our discord and I will try to put a link down below, but I don't believe I'm authorized yet through YouTube. But I'm hoping to get that soon so I can put links to the Discord down below. But hopefully that helps, guys.